Hi there, Deborah Rich Gettleman here with uh, your daily insight into the COVID crisis. Um, keeping in mind that I have absolutely no information to share that is actually practical and useful, but I think these lessons are important for all of us because some of us are extroverts, extreme extroverts or extroverts on steroids, as I like to refer to myself. And being in social isolation is rather challenging. So in order to coax you off the ledge, I am reaching out and trying to connect. And today's interesting COVID corner lesson is called Forget the Horseradish. So here's the thing. I don't know what to do with myself. Then I realized something. While I am, you know, plummeting into a dark depression, I remember that the only way that you can help yourself is by helping others. Get your mind off yourself. That is the key to survival at this point in time. So I am urging you to call anyone, maybe your church, your school, your mosque, your Buddhist temple, or your synagogue, which is what I did. So I called my synagogue and I said, please let me do something. What can I do? And they said, oh, great. You can go shopping for people who can't get to the store, which I was like, great. So for those who are in a high risk category or the elderly or anybody who's not able to shop, I am like the free Instacart. And um, much of it at this particular juncture is for Passover, right? Because the 2000 Jews here in the state of Oklahoma are actually looking to celebrate Passover. So I have run around to every store in town and bought up all the matzah that I can find. Not hoarding though, I'm distributing. You know, I'm like Robin Hood. Um, matzah, gefilte fish, matzah ball soup mix, um, fruit slices, whatever. Those marshmallow chocolate things that are so delicious, guess what? They're in all the kosher for Passover displays and they have corn syrup in them. I'm just saying. But the thing that was the most difficult to find was the horseradish because horseradish is always in the refrigerated section. So with each order that I buy and deliver, I get, they ask for horseradish. Everyone wants horseradish right now, you know, um, the red stuff. For some reason, everyone likes the red stuff, the beet horseradish. I'm not really fond of horseradish in general, but if you're going to eat gefilte fish, then you need to smother it with horseradish so you can't taste it. I have now delivered three packages to different people on different days. But remember what I said, horseradish needs to stay refrigerated. So I go to the first person's home three days ago, deliver everything, show them the receipt, go through it and realize, oh my God, I forgot the horseradish. So I say, I'm really sorry about that. Luckily, we still have time. I will go back and I will bring in the horseradish tomorrow, which I did. And then I got another order, same thing, horseradish in the refrigerator. I go to deliver the matzah, the packages of whatever, you know, we have. And I get there and this beautiful woman is trying to write me a reimbursement check. And we realized that the horseradish, two of them this time, two horseradishes are not there because they're in my refrigerator. So. I said, I'm so sorry about that. I will go get them and I will bring them back. I actually have done this three times. And as I contemplated this, I am getting forgetful. You know, it's that whole, uh, what do you call it? CRS, oh yeah, CRS, can't remember shit. I have that. Um, yeah, like everyone else, you walk into a room and you're like, <laughs> why did I come here? But, um, so I have realized something. I desperately need connection with other people. I am subconsciously forgetting the horseradish. Doesn't that make sense? I, it's like a leave behind, right? You want to go back because you are craving, I am craving connection. So um, the lesson for today is forget the horseradish. It's fine because then you get a second dose of interaction. And right now, that is what we all need. Remember, find something to laugh about today.